Hi everyone, Scorp here. Continuing the Duels of the Roses Redux 2 playthrough, um, starting with the Lincaster side and going hard. Um, I don't even know what I want to reincarnate for. <laughs> Like, that's kind of my main problem. Um, there aren't really any things that I need. Um, to make my deck that much stronger. Um, I can't get Pupa of Moth or Larva of Moths, so... Like, there's really not anything that I actually want. Um... So, let's just find something we have a couple of. Um, Javelin Beetle will be fine. Um, I'm just going to take you along with me for this. Uh, Shift is a nasty card. But we're a little too high, so we're all getting um, a ton of wall shadows. I mean, time seal's not terrible. Ah, uh, Diane Keto. We'll just keep that. Um, I probably won't use it, um, but um, Diane Keto is. Like, it's good enough, um, but I probably won't use it. Hey, um, this guy should have my eye armor for me. I just forget where exactly it is on the field. I think it was somewhere over here. Also, um, this guy has nasty traps, and we drew the card that says, I don't care about your nasty traps. Like that one. So we play out a soul of the pure, so that we can play a perfectly ultimate next turn. Um, I'm playing the Maneater Bug because it's going to eat whatever he put a power equip on. Ow. Hey, we found the eye armor. Um, mine? Oh, that's really weak. <laughs> Twenty one hundred damage. Because he doesn't have traps. Or. He has traps down. They just didn't do anything.
I'm wanting to get rid of as many of those as I can, just because then they can go be in, go be in the slots. Although Acid Trap Hole isn't in the slots for some reason. Honestly, the best outcome from the slots, unless I get a three in a row and a mimic cat. Pegasus betrays him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we need to put that eye armor in the deck. It's going in over a Gildogra. But um, honestly, I don't know why this is level 7. They left Great Moth at level 8, by the way. But they, but they made perfectly ultimate a level 7. Mm -hmm. This is this is one really nasty deck. <laughs> Pretty much if we draw like um ancient tree we instantly win the game. Um I think Seto had I think I remember him having mirror forces. I don't think this is gonna be that much of a contest, honestly. Oh, hey, Royal Decree. <coughs> oh, look, Ancient Tree. This does not take Horn of Light. But that does. I'm just gonna get Horn of Light out of my hand. I'm kind of worried about him going forward a couple spaces and then summoning, but he didn't. Ooh, spell or trap. Not having to deal with traps is nice. Well, that's a monster. It's now my blue eyes. What a...
brutal fight this is. Oh, he played a red eyes? Be honest, buddy. Uh you needed a lot there. <clears throat> A magic drain? You played a magic drain? Okay. Okay, Kaiba. Oh look, it's big beat sticks that just got decimated by level 3 creatures. Or level 2 creatures, honestly. Oh, I could actually use the magic drain. Because Magic Drain costs like 60 deck cost, um, it's good to reincarnate for like widespread ruins. If you wanted one of the best drops in the game. And Gravity Vines, right? Yeah. So yeah, if you're looking for um, good traps, uh, go dual Seto, grab um, Magic Drains from him, and then use those to reincarnate for good traps like Gravity Vines. Um, but at least this playthrough, I'm going through and, like, like the last playthrough on this side of the game, I pretty much just attrition killed everybody, so I didn't really do any fighting. Um, and then this time, I'm just kind of, like, overpowering them with good cards. That's a Regeki. <laughs> Sir. Uh, don't Ryoku me, bro. Actually, please Ryoku me, bro. I can't move forward because I don't want to get change of hearted. Um, sir? <laughs> this might be Jover. Very, very Jover. Okay. My opponent just gave me a 6,000 attack creature.
I still have to play around Change of Heart. Actually, now I really have to play around it. Uh, okay. Game over. <clears throat> Turns out stealing your opponent's stuff's pretty good. Uh, there were many other lines I could have taken there, but that one seemed like one of the most efficient. Okay, um, let me be back in one second, and we'll go to Taya. Okay, we are loading into this. <clears throat> and Kaiba talks too much. Okay. <clears throat> I have to edit my deck and make it slightly cheaper for the start of this game. Um, I'm going to take out that... Uh, the change of heart. Throw in something low deck costs. Oh, we can just put in a Gale Dogra. This works. I'll keep my deck this way until we're done with Joey. And we're gonna have to farm Joey anyways. Because we might as well grab the other most broken card in the game, Green Kappa, from him. Uh, I am sorry, Taya. This is not going to be okay. <laughs> Ooh, creature swap's pretty good. Wow, she actually used a fusion. Get rid of the very few traps that she has in her deck. Next turn I'll have more than seven summoning power, so I'm just gonna play a perfectly ultimate. Actually had something to put that uh, horn of white on this time, but yeah, we are just rolling in super strong monsters right now. So uh, how about we just kill her? Um. Um, it would have been good enough to probably just play Iron Armor, 
but that worked too. I guess eye armor was going to copy the hug him, so we're in a 5,000 attack creature. Oh, this deck is absurd. Okay. Let's try to get this Mimi Cat. I guess I could take a change of heart too, or something. Oh, I just went past it. I was expecting a black card. Let's take Temple of Skulls. It's good enough. We're not going to use that, but it's good. Okay. Tristan. Um, Tristan should have a really bad time against Arsenal Bug, if I can even draw one. Otherwise, we're probably just going to win the game off of anything else in this deck. Oh. Hey, look, we won the game. Tristan, send one of your fiends into this. Okay, we did. Right into it. Oh, sir. Sir. Oh, and a castle of dark illusions, too? <clears throat> well... This game's over. I'll just soul the pure, because next turn I can get close enough to just hit him directly with an arsenal bug from my hand. So even if he plays a trap here, he's dead. Um, he's dead anyways. Oh. See that block attack that messed me up that other game? Oh hey, a chakra. Like, this is just disgusting. Why is Arsenal Bug three stars? <laughs> I know it's what it is in the base game, or in the card game, but like... Oh man, what a broken card. <laughs> Oh hey, they made Castle of Dark Illusions actually be in the slots. And I missed the third Nuzzler. Okay. But yeah, uh, this is just such an easy playthrough to do. Insects are so strong, and they made them stronger. I really want to know why. Why do they make Pugum 7 stars? This deck didn't need it. Well, that's quite the hand. 
even if she were to quadruple equip me this time, she would still lose. Um, she uses mostly acid traps for traps, so... I'm pretty safe. Attacking in with a 2,000 plus attack creature and taking over 2,500 damage is not a great place to be at. Plan for Gorgonai? Nope. Okay, cool. Perfect. I'm pretty sure she did play a trap there, though. Did I just... Oh, I got a Monster Reborn. Say goodbye to the pet dragon. Oh, there's the Gorgon's Eye. I got him. Or I got her, I guess. Wait, weakened creature for them um, is fish and insects? Okay. Not that it matters. <laughs> I guess it makes sense that birds hunt insects. But that was pretty brutal, I'm not gonna lie. We got it. What? I really want a Mimikat. Not a copycat, a Mimikat. There we go. Two more duels and- Oh, I didn't do the reincarnation. Oh well. We didn't have anything we wanted to reincarnate for anyways. Just more broken spells. Um, so I guess we'll start with reincarnation at the start of the next episode. Thanks everybody for watching and have a nice day.